On the page, we have year 2016. The projection was 500 million uh, in terms of revenue. The revenue collection performance for 2017 compared with that of 2016 is itemized. 2016, the revenue projection was 500 million. Uh, we ended up collecting much more than the revenue projection. Uh, we had an income of 520 million plus. Therefore, our projection for 2016 was raised to 600 million. Uh, we were able to uh, get about 558 million, which was 93 percent of our projection. So the difference can be seen uh, from uh, what we have. Uh, the difference in projection was 100 million uh, between those two years. And uh, with regard to the actual collection, the difference was about 37 million, uh, million naira. So in compliance with all the rules, uh, all of this money is collected went directly into the Consolidated Revenue Fund. None of it came into the bank account of the ministry. On page uh, 31, we have the personnel cost. The personnel cost, 2017 personnel cost appropriation was 742 million, a little above that. Totally, we had releases amounting to 681 million. The difference between the total appropriation and the release was 61 million while total utilization was all of the release sum. That is, 100% of it was utilized. On the next page, we have overhead cost impl implementation. 2017 overhead cost appropriation was 203 million. Total release was obviously less than 50% of what was appropriated. Total utilization was the whole of what was released, and outstanding balance on releases was 105 million. So the percentage of the release against what was appropriated was 48.27%. Of course, that whole sum was expended on overhead costs. The last on this is on page 33, capital budget implementation summary. 2017 capital appropriation was 6 billion, and that was to cover 97 different projects. The total capital releases was only 3.8 billion. The amount utilized out of these releases, of course, when we say releases, it was that that was authorized. It was not totally utilized. What was utilized was 1.6 billion. The, co the commitment to the procurement process, procurements which process which had been commenced but which were not concluded, was 2.1 billion. Releases totally was 70 percent and the performance of our releases was 43.77%. Now, from what we have itemized, everything on revenue went directly into the Consolidated Revenue Fund. Everything on personnel was also handled totally by the Budget Office. I mean, by the Accountant General's Office. So these expenditures, that is, personnel cost implementation, was directly by the Akantangira's office, not by us. So whatever money that is said to have come in and expended did not necessarily mean that the ministry expended it. It was just in the books, and that was. So what we are concerned, really, what came to us, really, is overhead costs 
and the capital budget. Uh, the ministry implemented a total number of 28 contracts, and the ministry's activities are worth 1.6 billion over those projects. The status of implementation of these contracts has been shown in the table at Annex 3. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, Deputy Chairman, distinguished members of this honorable committee, these are the summaries of the different heads of implementation of Budget 2017. Yeah. The project cost is one of the most important part of this document. You cannot even understand. Look at this one now, the first one, the first item on page 49. 50.2 million naira was budgeted for, but the project cost was 9.8 million. Why are you budgeting above the project cost? So how, how do you arrive at that? That's why I said the presentation is not clear. The first one, item number one, page 49. If you look at appropriation 20, 2019, it was just an overestimation of the personnel cost when you have paid 98 million and, I mean, not 98 million, when you have paid 681 million out of the 742 million. Are you still owing your personnel or you have cleared it? Or is anybody complaining that they have not been paid? Because I, I, I am open, you understand? I am open and I want to help as much as I can. But if you say otherwise, but you know the, the rate at which we are going, if we continue, definitely this year budget will not see uh, the light of the day. So I think if you need to consult with your PANSEC and your directors, there, is, there are so many questions to be answered here.